all of these beautiful ladies in the building. It's all about half Tree Primary School. Uh, we got so many here, but the leader of the pack is Stacy McKenzie, legend, living legend. We had a conversation. I told you how much I hate this, but I'm going to do it to you. <laughs> She's like an absolute, not just a living legend, but someone who kicked down doors. And I remember being my Jamaican self at home in the East Coast, watching her tear up runways, watching her on magazines, watching her on commercials, and thinking to myself, Oh my gosh, <laughs> you can be whoever you want to be and still do whatever you want to do. Because it was a world where everybody had this little stereotype of how you're supposed to look, how you're supposed to act, how you're supposed to sound, and in comes, she can go over there, don't worry, oh. leave them alone. <laughs> in comes Stacy McKenzie, legend, oh, oh, model, uh, speaker, <laughs> motivational person. I mean, you are so many things with so many hats. And I just want to say I love you. Oh, Nikki, you're going to make me cry. No, man, but I love you. You don't need to cry. You love me. You're, <laughs> I you. love you because you, love you, you really too. did what I just said. You did that for me. <laughs> Seeing oh, you, you. seeing you on TV, seeing you in magazines, and then when I heard you was Jamaican, yep. I was like, what? Straight yard in bottom oh. swimming. <laughs> yep. But Nikki, seriously, what you just said, I mean, thank you so much. And it is such a blessing yeah. to be even looked at in the light in the light that I'm being looked at mm. and being perceived as, right? You know, to be this person that has done so much and inspire people. But you have it's, it's truly a blessing. No, you I have. You. I, I I don't even know if these girls know the magnitude of what you've brought to the table. <laughs> I don't know if they even have the full understanding, but we're talking about, cause she's one year younger than me. And I told you guys how old I am, <laughs> right? We don't need to talk about age again. She's one year younger than me. No, so, I'm 27. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So when she was In doing denial. what she did, nobody else was doing it. Like everything you saw in magazines was this perfect, like, well, what they considered perfect. Let me choose my words. What <laughs> they tried to tell you was the perfect look, the perfect way you're supposed to be. Yeah. So, Stacy, how did you do that? That's what I want to know first. How did you break every single barrier of wow. what the stereotype of what a model is supposed to be and become who you were? Um, I would say that I don't think it was me. It's more so the most I got and what the path that he had for me. Uh, I always wanted to be in fashion. I always wanted to be a model from when I was very young. And um, I didn't have the confidence for a very long time for many of my... Growing up, I did not have a lot of confidence, hardly any confidence like yeah. that. And I used to always pray and be like, you know, God, why? We really want to be a model. Please, you know, give me the opportunity or whatever. And no matter how much um, obstacles I had, and I had a lot of obstacles, even mm -hmm. just to get an agency, yeah. took me five years as opposed to one week. A model, uh, an aspiring model, it would usually take an aspiring model one week to get an agency, and me, it took five years. Mm. And, but for some reason, it was like, something was always within me saying, this is where you belong, don't give up on it, just keep going. And I really do feel that it was the most I got, like, it's, you know, just like saying to me, like, this is your path, this is where I want you to go, right? So just keep on moving, you're right, just keep, you know, persevering, right? And I'll open that door for you when it's your time. I mean, I tell you, Nikki, see when it was my time? Yeah. It was all the way in France, in Paris. I got myself all the way to Paris. How? Um, I worked three jobs, saved some money, got a plane ticket. I was only able to get the plane ticket to Holland because I didn't have enough close money. Close enough, to... close yeah, enough. Yeah, I mean, it was close <laughs> enough. I didn't have enough money to go to Paris. So I took the, the train from Holland. Yeah. The bus, not the train, the bus from Holland yeah. to Paris. And then from there, I was, I was staying in like a motel, like $20 a night. I had Girl. about 300 Canadian dollars on me. Because by then I was living in Canada too, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, I went to go see all the agencies and all the agencies were saying no again. But then this one agency I went to, the owner wasn't there. Yeah. And when he, um, when I got there, they, you know, the bookers were like, yo, we want you. You know, you're really cool looking, whatever. I'm like, really? Okay, cool. So they took what me on. You really? You, you, no. you set out for it. Yeah, but <laughs> guess what though? No, like even though I felt that I, you know, that this is where I belong yeah. and this is what I want to do. And for some reason I felt like this is what I should do. Yeah. I never had that confidence. When it happened, it was I like, I never wait, had that what? confidence. Wait, yeah, what? I was shocked. Because I'm used to like, 
not being to being told I'm ugly, that I'm strange looking, and then my voice. Yeah. My voice was always being made fun of, so I never heard. Stacy, you're beautiful. Stacy, you're pretty. Stacy, you're such a great person. Stacy, you're such a. But you knew I never it heard somehow. Any of those things. But you knew it somehow. To a certain extent, I knew that I was a good person and a kind person, but I didn't think I was a beautiful person. Yeah, I didn't think I was a pretty you were person. Good. You knew you were kind, but you knew that modeling was for you. Yeah, There's I felt- Something inside. You know what, something inside, but also another thing too, that made me really realize this is where I belong. I got a lot of attention. Mm-hmm. And I was told that, you know, to be a model, you have to be able to command a lot of attention, mm-hmm. right? You have to have a different, like, you know, somewhat of a different look, mm-hmm. not that different, even though that. Yeah. But you also have to be able to walk in a room and command the attention. Right. And everywhere I go from the yard, from there, Jamaica, from there, I grow from my baby, from a barn, I always I command, command attention. attention. If me not say nothing and people just see my mother with me, with her, with me in her hand, they must say, oh, that's that I want that. And a woman that want to be want to doll in her hand. Like, I always I command attention. So that for me clicked. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, so I need to command attention. Then I was told that I needed to learn how to pose, like be a really good poser yeah. and be a really good runway walker. So I used to teach myself all the time. When I go to school, I used to take my mother's shoes and go like, I used to go to Central Branch all age school. That's my school. And then I go to foreign. <laughs> oh my God. But I didn't want to go to Woolmer's so too. That's another story. Oh, another story. And um, I, mean, I used to take my mom's shoes yeah. and our high heels, like her wedge heels, and switch my school shoes and wear her shoes. And that's how I taught myself how to walk. Nobody, I'm self taught. When she find out, when she find when no, she out. No, when she find out was when the teacher, them, um, like the principal, yeah. Call her, no, go, go over because we live literally across the street from the school. Yeah. The, the principal and the teacher, them will go to her and say, What wrong with that girl? What wrong with Stacy? She'll come to school, she'll take her first shoes, and she'll put on some high heel boot, and I walk up and down the table, mega, 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 mega. Right? Yeah, that's, and that's how I taught myself how to walk. And how I taught myself how to pose was with the. Um, with the with the dresser mirror, yeah, right. What there I was, was no Instagram. No, there wasn't no camera was, selfies, and there was no like none of that school, no age yeah. modeling agencies in Jamaica at the time yeah. or nothing. So I used to like sit in front of the the um in front of the dresser mirror and yeah. emulate different personal facial expressions, and that's how I taught myself how to pose. Wow. So when I got to France, the agency, the 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 the, the people, the, the bookers there, yeah. said, okay, we want to give you a chance, but the owner wasn't there. When the owner come back. The owner see me and couldn't stand how me look. And him never ran for disrespect me and diss me. In, in your front. face? Yeah, not only in my face, at a model's dinner in a restaurant, the man dissed my bud. And my mom always taught me, and I think it's a just I think it's a Jamaican thing as a whole. Yeah. She always taught me that say, listen, no matter what people do to you when they put you down and things, they always have holy head up high. Yep. I always make sure you look nice. Yep. Right? Even when you're not no money and you're, not, and you're no saying no money, no, nobody no saying no nothing. Yep. Make them things say have a million dollars. Never let them see you right? sweat. Never let them see you sweat, basically. Mm-hmm. Yo, I was sweating, Nikki. I was, I want to ball, I want to scream yeah, out and cry. It. No, man. But I want it. And the man that they cuss me and I diss me and I talk about, oh, she, elle, elle is strange. Elle is meaning she is strange looking. And how I'm ugly. Right, and it was hurting so bad, but I I, I held it together. We tell him two words still become me. I yell at someone for tell him two words still. I put him in nine place. You said thank you. She said no. Thank I never you. said thanks. She, she, no, she, me tell, them know the story already. The children right, know the all truth. Right, all right, cool. <laughs> me never, you know, I don't know already. Me never said thanks. Yeah. Me tell him about himself. <laughs> and then when I left, I cried my eyes out. Yeah. And then at some point, I had like one week to find an agency mm-hmm. and also go on the casting for the shows. I went to see all the agencies again. They all said no, but there was one agency I didn't go to, a really small agency. And when I went there, a black guy was there, was a very good friend of mine to this day, Gaspar. Gaspar was there and he said, oh, you know, you, you have a really cool look. I'm like, yeah, man, no. My you, just, just give me a break, just give me a blind, man, and just give me a try, you know? Right? And then he was like, okay, okay. He's like, because at this point, you've heard no so much that don't even matter. At this yeah. point, just say what you're going to say and let me go. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, all right. So then he goes, all right, you know, I'm going to give you a chance. The man gave me, he gave me the address for um, a designer. And he says, make sure you're at this casting tomorrow. Do not be late. Don't miss it or else that's it. That's it. Because I'm giving you a chance right now. I think this designer would like you. It was the same designer that I saw in a magazine with Madonna when I was nine years old, that propelled me to get into fashion, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Woo! Yeah. So this is where it goes back to as well, too, where I'm saying that it's not me, it's the most I God will do this because me really and truly feel, say, a him 
the right upon a party, and I him still in my face. You know, for push and for just fight against because all odds. he wanted me to be where I'm at today. He wanted you to be a warrior. He wanted so you me can to be... teach others to do exactly, the same. Exactly, exactly. All even that it. too. All even that too, Nikki. I get it. Right? Because you know, you know. Don't I, cry. I know. Okay. But you know, <laughs> um, I went. I didn't. I, I tried to go to the casting. Yeah. And I missed the missed the casting because I couldn't find a place. Are you kidding? I missed it, Nikki. I missed. I couldn't find a place, but we never call Gaspar and tell him. Right, so I'm dead and I pierce up and down on the street, and this black girl comes running from across the street to me, and she goes, "Easy, easy," meaning here, here. So I said, "What, what, what is this?" She gives me a card, and I look at the card, and then she runs off. I look at the card, and she was the assistant to Jean Paul Gaultier. Yeah, she saw you. She was the assistant. So I ran after her and I got her and I said to her, "Um, why did you give me this card? Like you work for him, you're his assistant." And she's like, yes, we. She's, she's like, we, we, meaning yes. Mm. Um, and then I was like, what, 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 how did yeah, you see well, me? Because I'm trying to find the same address. It was the same address I was supposed to be at. I'm like, I'm trying to find this address. And she goes, it's right there. And she points right across the street from where I was pacing hey, up and down. And she goes, yeah. She's like, I looked out my window and I see this strange looking girl. <laughs> and I thought to my, she said she thought to herself, Mr. Gautier would love her. <laughs> yeah, that's, and it, that's why she ran on and gave me her card. Yeah. She gave me her card. And then from there, right, I just like went to the casting the next day. I still didn't say nothing to Gaspar. Mm -hmm. Didn't call him and say nothing. The casting continued the next day. So I went the next day. And when I went the next day, I met Mr. Gautier. <laughs> and then the rest is this beautiful And that man, history. you know, that man looked at me. He was there with his entourage and he, yeah. there was over 300 odd girls there. And there was people still there making fun of me that day. I believe you. Big time. People were like laughing. Girls and guys laughing I at me. I believe you. And we had to each go up one at a time. And when my time was to go up, I went up and the first thing he said was, Ele Bell. So I said to him, I was like, Ele who? <laughs> and he's like, Ele Bell. See, my youth, my Jamaican, I don't know what I said. I was like, what does that mean? It sounds so he like started Abella, laughing. Like something he's like, beautiful. I said, you are, she is beautiful. That's what, that's what I said yeah. it sounds like. Yeah, he's, she is beautiful. Yeah. I'm like, you think I'm beautiful? And I literally broke down. That's when I broke down. Because I've been trying, trying, trying. Here's this man that I saw in a magazine. And you know, and then I'm meeting in person. It's not just some man you saw. Yeah, we're talking about a man. Jean Paul Gaultier. Okay, he yep. is known for his artistic eye yep. and seeing <laughs> life and beauty in so many things. Not yep. just fashion, but his art eye art, is yep. well known. So yep. he saw you as art. Yes, and that's yes, what it is. Yes. So many of us are so worried about being that fashionable book printed beauty that we think that's the only beauty that exists. No, every human is art. And the more you love yourself and believe in yourself, people see the beauty of your art. Now you are taking your art and uh, teaching all of these wonderful princesses in the building. Yes. I don't know, I mean, we have a couple of microphones. Let's see if we can get a couple of them working, Jeff. I know, I'm, no, I'm probably bothering <laughs> you, Jeff. I'm so super sorry, Jeff, but there's just <laughs> a lot of people in here. So if we can turn on this one too, I wanna start, don't you, come, what you ducking for? We're gonna start right here. I want you to give, no, don't be pushing, oh, no, you, right. no. We oh, she's new. She hiding. I don't care. She hiding. She hide That's why we going with you first. <laughs> I want you to give me a name and tell them why you got involved in the walk. Every one of you. Yep. This is going to be your time to shine. Come here, pretty girl. She's, okay. All right. Where she run. Have... Go on. Go on. But you still, you st you still going to have to do it. You can hide, but you're going to have to do it. All right. Go ahead. Wait. It's not on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let's wait till it's on. dun, 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 Oh, there we go. All right. Well, actually, I wasn't supposed to be here. My sister was. Mm -hmm. But they mixed up me and my sister's name, so I ended up being here instead of my sister. Okay. What's your name? Oh, my name is Rakita Bailey. Awesome. Well, nice to meet you, Rakita Bailey. Nice and who to else? meet you, too. Okay. Who else do we have here? Come here. Who do we else do we have here? Um, hi, my name is Dariana Chaito. Yeah. Um, the reason why I think I came at this camp is that Auntie Stacy saw something in me that I haven't saw in myself, and that's the reason why I'm at this camp. What is it you think she sees in you? I don't know. Greatness. Greatness. And when you look in the mirror, you best Beautiful. believe and see that. 
Exactly. Beauty, greatness, all of that grace. Girl, you look pretty. Let's go. <laughs> Better stop playing with yourself. Talking about you talking about, oh, I ain't got no, no, I'm insecure. Mm -hmm. We're going to kick all these insecurities exactly. away. Uh, look at this. You look like a little porcelain doll. <laughs> look at you. All right, give me your name and, and how did you get in the walk? What, what, why are you in the walk? Why I'm in the walk is because this camp really inspires me and I really like it. So Yeah, what's your name? My name is Jade. Hi, Jade. <laughs> oh, here, this is my bright face from earlier. <laughs> come on in, come on in. Don't forget oh. name and, and, you know, why you got involved or, or even what you're learning from the walk, either one. Hi, my name is Shamara Thompson. Um, ever since I s from started the walk camp, I've been learning a lot from the mentors mm -hmm. about how to be myself, how to um, grow as a young female, as a young individual. Yeah. So, I can say from um, from the year before last year till now, yeah. since I've been in the camp for three years. Yeah. <laughs> From then till now, I've learned so far just to believe in myself, basically. Yeah. And no matter what nobody said, just believe in Keep yourself. Keep going. Don't you ever stop. Don't you ever stop. Who else we got over here? Well, uh, yeah, my, you got to bring my friend up, too. This is this, this my friend uh -huh. right here. This is my friend right here. You know both of them work, so you can line up the next one on that one. You can line up the next person uh -huh. on that one. Uh -huh. this, this is my friend right here. Look at my friend right here. Go ahead, friend. What's up, friend? Um... <laughs> My name is Shantia Campbell and I got involved in the walk camp because I needed self-motivation and more confidence because I was getting bullied a lot and I wanted um, other people to see what I can really do and how I can shine. Girl, and then now you know that you do shine and wh whether they see it or not, it don't matter. Just keep shining, mm -hmm. don't it? Yeah. You saying it, but do you believe it? Yes, I do. Okay, good. All right, all right. Who else we got here from the walk? Quite a few girls, but we gonna make sure we hear all of their voices loud and pr you gonna you gonna still run? Okay, go ahead. That one works. You can you can use that one. Y'all could just rotate and use that one too. Oh, yeah, they both work. The next person line up to that one. Go ahead. There we go. All right, who we got here? Go ahead. Um, my name is Tavia, and the reason why I joined the war camp is because it motivated me a lot. Yeah. And it inspired me a lot to be. A young lady growing up so yeah. yeah that's why i joined and who else we got who's that over there go ahead go ahead my name is narissa williams and i would say the reason why i joined this camp was because growing up um i lacked self-confidence or confidence in general i had it's not like one of those stories where it was like no one's telling me I'm beautiful, no one's telling me I'm talented. I was hearing it all the time, just wasn't believing it. Yep. So it was kind of like Auntie Stacy just coming in and saving the day. And now I can say I feel a lot more confident to be myself, be who I am, and use my talent more. So I'd like to say thank you for that, Auntie Steve. Aww, look at that. And remember what I said, remember what I said to y'all earlier, and I'm sure Stacey been telling y'all this, most of the battles you're gonna live in your lifetime is gonna be battled inside your head. So when your head is telling you negative things, you gotta learn how to fight it and combat that. Who we got right here? Hello, my name is Nicole Lindsay. What up, Bola? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> You're in the way there. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm here because I needed some inspiration. Yeah. Someone that could motivate me because I got bullied a lot for how I look. But I really took it personal. Whoever bullied you for uh, how you look was jealous because right? look at you. Right. Girl. So I really took it personal. And when I heard um, Auntie Stacy called me and said i can come at the camp i was very happy yeah so i came at the camp and i feel much better about myself and still growing right um i found myself not taking what people say anymore yeah right. you don't need to that's what i'm talking about girl who else who else we got a couple more in here let's make sure we gotta we gotta go wrap it up within the next few minutes so let's go all right if you're shy y'all shy <laughs> But I just want to say it was you guys were like my first speak. Oh, now she's ready. No, go ahead. Oh, yeah. bring, 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 bring. No, she no. Come. Yeah, come. You was just ready. Where are you gonna <laughs> hide? All right, just give me at least your name. Just say your name. That's all. Just right here. Say your name. That's it. Just just your name. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please, for me. Please, for me. Just say your name. Say your name. Say your name. Say your name say for me. Come. <laughs> I have no clue what no, she said. No, no. no, we give up for now. For now. For now. Unless you're ready. Okay. All right. You know. But it's all about the walk. So tell people who are listening right now, because we know this is halfway tree primary, but how no. far is not? No, it's a, it's a different school. So my old school, Central Branch, all age. Okay. Halfway tree primary. Um, Mel, uh, James. Huh? James. Thank you. It's, it's yeah. a, I chose it's a, a couple. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a diff, bunch of girls from different, different types of schools. Yeah. Yes. Yes, including Alfred Tree Primary. So how, how do parents find out more to possibly get the baby girls involved? So um, the girls are ages 12 to 16, and that's age bracket. If, if they're a little younger, like 10, 11, but I'm fine with that. Are still, are little uh, more, yeah, yeah, a little bit more mature. And what they could do is they could reach out to me at um, thewalkcamp at gmail.com. Right. And um, what do they the learn camp, in the walk? Yes. Camp? So the camp is all about. So the camp is all about inspiring and empowering these young girls to, um, you know, have a lot, like a strong sense of self. Right. Right. By way of like meeting different mentors in their respective fields right. who have stories of perseverance and, you know, breakthrough of, you know, like how they achieve their dreams and goals in life. Nice. So um, I want them to learn, you know, um, you know, it's OK, you know, to go through obstacles. Yeah. Right. But at the end it's of the day, happen. it's, it's, life. it's li exactly it's life and it's how you deal with those obstacles. That's what matters. Right. So um, for me, like and I chose I purposely chose girls from certain types of areas as well, because I come like you're saying earlier as well. Mm -hmm. You know, you, come, you say I come from the projects. Me, I come from the projects and the, the hood yep. and the hood as well, too. Mabana, Alman Town, Maria's a Slipen Road. Yep. And when I go to Canada, I live a jungle, right? Maria's a jungle and Maria's a Glendower. Straight hoods, right? Right. And I, you know, so I, I'm one of them. I'm able to, you know, I, I hope that they would be able to relate to me and, you know, get to know me on that level to see that, okay, you don't, don't have, have you don't it have doesn't matter where you come from. Exactly. Don't let your circumstances define who you are. So that's what the camp is really about. And I choose mentors, right? Like I said, in different fields, because I'm also looking at too, okay, there's so many people out there that could inspire these girls that in, do inspire these girls. Like when they hear you on the radio, Nikki, when they see certain people, on the television you know they they are inspired and they talk about you know some of these people yeah. right doctors lawyers and a lot of times they don't right? get to know they what don't kind get of to meet or yes. how hard it was for them to become who they are exactly and also yeah. they don't have the a lot of times they don't get the opportunity to meet yeah these people as well and, I'm, and, and i said to myself you know what I was put in this position for a reason in terms of like being a model, being in fashion. Yeah. In the beginning, it wasn't for me. It was all about Stacey being in fashion, Stacey yeah. being a model, being seen. I get it. Right? And then I realized at some point, like, you know, it's empty. It needs more. So when I started doing some speaking engagements, I came across, like, I, I went back to my old hoods. Yeah. So I went back to Glendower. And this little boy actually came up to me and he said, you know, you're the only person that ever comes back. See? So I was like, what do you mean? Well, I'm the only person that ever comes back. And he goes, yeah, there's other people that come from here, you know, and they make it big and they never come back for come check for it and come look for it. And that just really touched me. And it was that that hit home. And I was like, you know what? I need to create something yeah. to like give, really give back to the youth. Like me going to go into the communities and speaking to the youth, that alone ain't going to work. You know Be what I'm more. saying? And, and then also, I need to utilize my resources, my friends, my colleagues, you know, like, and, you know, like, Do bring them on board it. to, like, you know, really inspire these youths, you know, to, like, help their journey, make their journey a little easier. So that's how I started the walk out. I love what you're doing, <laughs> but it's not for me just making their journey or journey a little easier. You are actually building future leaders. Yes. And Jamaica oh, needs awesome. some real proper leaders yep. to start taking over the reins and really fixing this place, yep. this beautiful island, this wonderful country, and making it the greatness that we know it is. Because right. this place is one of the greatest places. It I is. try to tell people anywhere in the world, the minute you say you're Jamaican, yeah. hello, hello, hello. Wasn't I just telling you guys that hello. the other day? I said that to them. Hello. I was like, everywhere I've been in the world, pretty everywhere I've been. Hello, Jamaican. As soon as you say you're Jamaican for real, or like, if... Whoop. It's a whole other type Yo, of love. I went down to a resort yeah. one time. I had a mango. It was so cool. The 
anyway, no, everybody loves Jamaica. <laughs> all right, so, all right, we got to wrap up because it's uh, coming up on 4.30, but I heard we have some singers in a bunch. Anybody is not, who, who got the confidence right now that got the vocal chops that want, you, here you go again. Larissa. You, you look at Mr. Hyde. Larissa. Come on. Let's see. Narissa. Yeah, you. You over there. You over there. You over there. Go over there, Narissa. Right there. Come here, sir. Come into the center, Narissa. Right. Yes, country. right here. Yeah. You know, you what she goes, what you heard her sing before? Huh? Pick the song. Pick the song. What you heard her sing before that she sing beautifully? Oh, the one, now. Um, you remember the one I used to sing the first time about money doesn't... You remember that one? Remember All that right. One? Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage from the walk. Welcome a future singer, a future leader, a future anything she wants to be. Her name is, I hope I get it right, Narissa. So this song is called Profit. Question, what's the point of living your life if you're living your life to die? What's the point of working so hard just to show off nice things you can buy? Let me tell you that there must be more, there must be more to life. You got to believe that heaven is real, got to be pleasing in God's eyes. Because you can't take cars to heaven when you're there and to get in you don't need degrees but a clean heart and a right spirit oh god it's all you ask of me and sometimes i lose my focus and possessions take my purpose but you have so much more in store for me what will it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul oh can you tell me why you fight for these things down there when you'd be walking on gold cause a man can gain the world but lose his soul so tell me what's your goal cause in the end you will have nothing so what's the profit in that <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Future talent on the rise. These are the types of community organizations we need more of. We need to endorse. We need to support. This is what Community Wednesday is about. I got goosebumps. Young ladies who are going to grow beautifully. All of you are like beautiful little plants. Remember to water yourself. Remember to stay rooted in all things. And remember, you need that sunshine to grow. So remember those things. And remember, even when plants, plants have dark days, they wilt. But with the proper fertilization, water, sun, they grow right back. Dark clouds, they will pass. Hope you got what I said. And on that note, Stacey, where can people follow the movement if they want to donate, if they want to be a part? Tell them all the information they need to know. Oh, okay. So you could, um, if you want to follow the movement, you can follow the movement at The Walk Camp on TikTok, The Walk Camp on Instagram, The Walk Camp on, uh, sorry, Walk This Way Workshops mm. on uh, Facebook. Um, the email is thewalkcamp at gmail.com. Mm. You can hit us up there directly about donations and we'll direct mm. you where to... Uh, send the donations to um, and really the donations I uh, can I just say real quick say the donations um, I would like to you know like get the girls to get do donations for when they're going back to school oh, and yeah. also to like you know to take care of their uniforms their tui their fees tuition fees because here in Jamaica it's not like in a foreign where right. not for the schools them especially it's primary schools and high schools they, they're not they're free there, there they're not right free here, here yeah. right so um, that's the goal where you know the girls get the opportunity to have their uniforms and their school fees taken care of so and yeah <laughs> so the walk camp at gmail.com uh hit me up there um you can follow me at the real stacy mckenzie doc sorry on on all angles the real on all handles yes the real stacy mckenzie s-t-a-c-e-y m-c-k-e-n-z-i-e mm -hmm. i'm yeah, gonna man. have to you know mm -hmm. link a few of my highly paid artist <laughs> friends yes yes yeah i'm saying yes. The walk finishes next week. Your money, yes, All Nikki. All right. We're going to have to team up them. and beat down them doors and yes. stay empty them pockets yes. for the babies. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. 
<laughs> All right. Well, can't leave the clocks for you. I mean, like, take the money for the clocks and give it to It's funny. You say them. clocks. The first person I said I'm about to call is Popcorn. I know Popcorn <laughs> love the kids. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I did this for the kids uh, before. Where I took a, a bunch of kids from, oh, gosh, Empress. Empress works for them. Oh, I, I okay. want to say Walker's Home. Ah, Empress works with them. But oh. I, I took a bunch of them to the movie theater to see Wakanda, right? Oh. And, uh, yeah, I got the cost covered by Popcorn. Like, my goal was to hit a bunch of artists and say, yo, give me a 50, give me a 50, give me Because, you know, rent yeah. out the theater, have popcorn. Yeah. But I called pop- Popcorn. I was like, how much fit? And I was like, X, Y, Z. All right, man, I'll go send somebody. He said, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's what's and up. then he sent a video on top of that for the kids oh, to watch before oh they watch the movie. Yeah, popcorn is for the kids. Don't play. You guys, you guys popcorn is about the kids. Watch out. Yes, you know. You see any you see? artists, any popcorn. artists out there listening? Popcorn, yeah, 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 yeah. Them, them, one, them no, I, I think yeah, he in yeah. foreign, but he gonna <laughs> hear eventually. <laughs> For all my artists out there that's listening, any of y'all that want to get involved, these are things that really we need to endorse more than anything else. So, yes. yeah, let's do that. Let's let's team up and do I would say the government, but y'all keep doing what y'all want to do with all of that extra money that be mm-hmm. lying around, and I ain't going to say nothing, but mm-hmm. I'm just going to say y'all could do better, but hey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. All right, y'all, we got to wrap it up. We got to say bye-bye. Thank y'all for having me and at y'all school today. Listen. Nikki, it was amazing to have you. I was babbling. No, you weren't babbling. (laughs) You really, because these girls, like, you know, they could tell when people are being genuine. Yeah. Right, girls? They could tell when the mentors are being genuine when it comes from their heart, that they really do care and want the best for them. You are are one of those that they... Cause I that, that touched them. And they were like, yo, she's so cool. She's so down to earth. But what they kept on saying is that you made them feel confident. I made them feel, I said, they could like really like, you know, you know take, how you take just over said, the world. Stacey, you know how you said when you were talking about what you were doing on how you didn't know the confidence, but you just knew what you were supposed to do? Yeah. You were telling my story, but in the form of music and radio. Yeah. Like no matter what I do, no matter how many times I step away from music, no matter how many times I step away from radio, something says that's where you're supposed to be. Yep. I didn't like the fame and all the hype like you were me saying. Too. Yeah, 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 I was like, ew, ew, ew. Yeah, yeah. So it took me a while to figure out and find the balance of purpose, yeah. loving what I do, and remembering to still be a human on the right. side. But most importantly, too, loving yourself. Oh, girl, Because yes. I think it's really important for them. I learned I, that too late. To, yeah, we need love to like, yourself. love ourselves. All the flaws. Yes. Yes. Every last one of it. Because nobody's n- perfect. Hey, you Not see, one I'm, of us is perfect. I'm 45. You see a bunch of makeup on my face? Mm-hmm. Beauty queen, you see a bunch of makeup <laughs> on her face. Well, kind of, Half the time, our hair be looking like this. Trust me, I know Stacey. <laughs> Boy, you love yourself, it don't matter because you right. know when you step out, you're gonna step out fiercer than right. the rest of them. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, monkey say, monkey do. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up and take a commercial break. We are thank the bridge. You. It's Community Wednesday. No, thank you. Thank and check you. out the walk. Follow Stacy McKenzie. Ladies, say, <laughs> It's the bridge 99.